Black Square is, it's an ongoing project that I started about 20 years ago. I periodically photograph objects and documents and people, and it's become over time sort of this disorderly inventory of random fragments and consequences of human invention. I photograph all the subjects against a black field that's the exact same measurements as Malevich's 1915 black square. And when that painting was exhibited, Malevich hung it sort of high on the wall and um, spanning the corner of the wall that was usually reserved for religious icons. And it was considered a pretty transgressive move at the time. When he was doing that, the middle of World War One. it was just before um, the October Revolution. Malevich described it as a total eclipse. And so over the past 105 years, the Black Square has kind of brought about this frenzied global response of interpretation. The Liberator is a handgun that I printed in black ABS plastic on a MakerBot Replicator 1 3D printer. And the blueprints for the gun were available online and were downloaded over 100,000 times before the U.S. State Department finally ordered their removal from the creator's website. These ballots were cast in the UK's European Union membership referendum and counted at the Great Hall in the Alexandra Palace in Haringey, London. Blue buckets were mounted atop civilian vehicles in Moscow to protest the misuse of emergency blue rotating lights by VIP businessmen, celebrities, and officials to bypass the city's daily standstill traffic. The blaster is an anti-carjacking system, and the flamethrower is activated by pushing a button from the interior of a car under attack. The statue of General Robert E. Lee, commander of the Confederate States Army during the American Civil War, stood for 133 years atop an 80-foot pedestal in the center of New Orleans. Erected in 1884, it was deinstalled by city officials in 2017. And the contractor initially tasked with the deinstallation received death threats from people who wanted the statue to remain. I made Black Square 24 in September of 2020, but it is a photograph I took in the White House in November 2009, in the first year of Biden's vice presidency and during the Iraq War. But it's obviously impossible to view that image now, independent of where the U.S. is in this moment. And I know that that image is going to change again irreversibly. Uh, no matter what happens in the next several days.